have to do my makeup in 10 minutes. What do I do? What do I do? I have the answer. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a super fast quick and easy full coverage natural makeup look in under 10 minutes. I know for the longest time, I have been here for a very long time on YouTube and you guys know, if you know, you know, I'm a girl that is all or nothing. I was until recently. So when I went to esthetician school, I kind of wanted to give like esthetician skin, esthetician makeup. And you know, as a full glam lover, I'm always baking my face and doing all the things, but I don't think I've ever nailed down a makeup look that I have been happy with. That could be my go-to routine. But today that changes. And guess what? It will be full coverage and glam, yet natural and gorgeous and really breathable on the skin with zero liquid foundation, zero. Now, if you are just watching because you kind of want to see or intrigued at what I'm using, it's on the table. If you guys are wanting something beautiful and effective, but impactful, but really, really natural, this video is for you. Like my saying, at one size makeup is a one size fits all. And without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so just to prove to you the timer, 10 minutes and under starts now. Ooh, okay, so I'm going to start with the brows. I kind of like to bring a little bit of hairs in the middle. My brows, I like to draw them a little bit kind of closer, so I kind of fake the funk and add some just brow hairs in between just like this and then I'll add a little bit of hair on the outside. All right, now to seal the brows, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Brow Kiki gel. I use the Brow Kiki pencil in the shade medium and for the gel, I like to take a little bit of dark but this is just gonna add a little bit of fibers and set the brows. That's the brows. Okay, next. This I feel like is one of the most important products to me to getting that makeup to last long. You guys can see I've had this like stubborn little pimple here for the longest time and have a lot of texture. So therefore we're gonna secure the blur. This is a makeup magnet primer, which is silicone base. And I'm gonna rub it in and it will really add that grip all over the face. I love massaging it into the skin anywhere that I'm going to put this foundation. And you're probably wondering, Patrick, I thought you said you're gonna use no liquid foundation. Well, girl, I am not lying. We are gonna be using a powder foundation. So once this gets in, you could start to see it kind of really smooth on the skin and it has this little type of grip. It's not sticky, but it's gorgeous. But this is going to be the key for allowing your makeup to really shine. And quick note, I did do my skincare, eye cream, moisturizer, everything before this. So skincare is really important. Now this is like the most fiercest product ever. It's like one of my favorites. This is the Turn Up The Base Powder Foundation. When I tell you, I did this the other day and I was like, Bleh. My makeup looks so cute. You guys can see I have freckles, I have pores, and I go between like maybe two, three different colors. So it just depends on the time of year that you are in. But I'm gonna go ahead and take medium four, which is golden, and start to just buff this into the face. It's really, really easy because it grips onto the face. And slowly but surely, you're gonna see that my face is going to even out. Do you guys see the difference between this side and this side. It's starting to really go in and it's okay if you get it on your like eyelashes, but the more you layer, the more coverage you get and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. But the key is to have that kind of a primer that will allow the powder to grip onto. Look at the wide camera, like five minutes. Five minutes, easy, wow. You see that? No makeup makeup it's giving so even and there is zero foundation on here now you see this one watch i'm gonna take this and just slowly buff it in and also too if you want spray in between so that way the powder has a little bit of give to melt buffing building and buffing wanted to kind of like show off my esthetician skin but looking even and gorgeous without being too cakey i literally want you guys to try this powder this powder look at it it's like a already kind of disappearing into the skin. There we go. How many minutes, Paul? 
Three. Three minutes left. Okay, so next, I like to take a little bit of just mascara. You can definitely add a little bit of liner here, but I'm taking this lash curler right here, curling my lashes. Isn't that so easy to do? Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of my blush called Freaky Peach and add this just on the cheeks. Here is an extra little tidbit. I love taking a little bit of medium too, which is a neutral rosy and a kit and prop brush just like this. This one is from my Disney collection and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this, pat this under the eye and it's gonna act like a little mini concealer and you see we're just slowly evening out the skin. I like to take this and apply this to the middle of my forehead, top of the nose. Again, I know that this is a lot of powder but this kind of a tutorial is great for those that wanna be quick and that also aren't dry skin users. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of my contour. This is the light made for shade bronzer, just like this. I'm gonna take a little bit of this highlighter by MAC called Global Glow. And I'm gonna take some on just my finger and apply this on my nose. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this and then apply this on the cheeks. How cool is it that I'm using my Disney brush and my Wicked brush? Sometimes I can't fuss with like a beauty sponge or a beauty blender, so I just go for something like that. Before I do my mascara, I'm gonna take a little bit of this lip liner called Outer Line. I'm just quickly line my lips. And for my lipstick, I love using this Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm by Fenty. Feels like a lip care product, but I love blending this into the lip liner. Look at the skin. You know what, I decided because this is Patrick Star's channel and we wanna be a little bit extra. I wanna show you guys the Kiss Falscara because I have been literally obsessed with it. You can throw a mascara on this and call it a day, but all I am I making it worse? Oh my God. Okay, so before doing mascara or the falscara, this Dalba spray from Amazon, this is the Dalba First Serum Spray Hydrated Radiant Skin. So good, it's a bio-based formula, so I would strongly suggest to shake it. And the reason why I suggest you guys doing this before mascara is because imagine you put mascara or your lashes or anything and you start spraying, the spray will start to kind of lay on the mascaras. Shout out to this hand fan. I get so many questions about this. I'll link this also below. But can you believe that this is just powder foundation? And you know what's really, really, really great about this type of routine? Knowing that this product, the Turn Up The Base Powder Foundation, gives you so much coverage and versatility, you can always take the powder and always add more if you want more coverage somewhere. Look, it fits so perfectly. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of this blush with my Wicked brush, how cute. And you can even take some of that highlighter on the bottom. I love these blushes, guys. And this one was the big one to sell out and we just got it in, back in stock or it's coming back in stock really, really soon. How gorgeous and there's no liquids. Spray again. This is literally such a freaking great product for day to night if you wanna like add more coverage or go out. Like I'm giving like esthetician skin. I don't even need like mascara, but for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to elevate your look. Now, this is gonna take a little bit more time, but you can literally get this done in probably like a few minutes. This right here is the falscara, like fake underneath lashes. Like they're so, cute, but they're so like quick and effective. I got these on Amazon. You can get them in the drugstore, but it comes with this bond and seal. Now, if I wanted to give like extra, this is what I would go for. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. And mind you guys, the reason why this takes so fast, I'm not using any eyeshadow or eyeliner. So this is pretty much it. What I like to do is take the bond side and this is like a little bit of a eyelash safe adhesive. I am just applying this underneath my lashes just like you would mascara but it's like mascara and lash glue had a baby but it doesn't ruin your lashes so i like to coat it really well it's really really powerful and bonding i'm gonna do one eye at a time you have smalls you have mediums mediums and you have large so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take one small i'm gonna slip my tweezer right under here and I'm going to pull it gently. Guys, I'm telling you, this is so easy to do. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to apply it right underneath and then flip and then apply it. It's so easy. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the medium and apply this right here. Look how quick. I'm gonna take another medium, like right underneath 
so easy. And then last but not least, I'm gonna take a long. Do you see how fast this is going? And then boom. Okay, so I've done one eye and only applied four clusters. Took me literally less than a minute to swipe and then stick, 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 stick. And after I stick all four, I'm gonna go ahead and take the seal side, which is more of like a clear, and just go over the bottom so my lashes don't stick together and it kind of just seals the bond. And then once I let that kind of dry, I'm just gonna take my curler. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I like to do this. I'm just gonna stick them up. And look, it gives like lash extensions because I literally have no lashes here, but this is giving really, really gorgeous, wispy, pretty, and it really goes with the makeup look. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, so after the lashes are done, like now is kind of like the time to kind of like touch up what you need. I could see like some of my brow kind of came off, so I'm just gonna touch that up. The best thing about this kind of a makeup look is like you get to touch up what you want based on like what your needs are when it comes to like beauty makeup, but this, I would be so confident going into a meeting, going to work. I know this is probably like maximalist for some of you, but if you guys know me, this is so like quick and go for me. The two highlighter products that I have is the Blush uh, Cheek Clapper Trio in the shade Freaky Peach. Like the bottom one is great for the cheeks because it has that kind of like peach tonal glow. Now for the forehead, this is giving that kind of like shiny glass skin type of effect. But then hitting that with a little bit of, you know, whatever dewy setting spray of your choice, we we'll just lock it all in. And I know for my oily girls out there, I know what you're thinking. This will not last on me, but let me show you how to lock it all in. You guys can lock it in with either more powder or on till dawn. So for me, let's say my dewy setting spray got a little bit crazy on the under eyes and in the middle of the forehead because I don't want to look like I'm sweating. I would just hit the places where I just want to mattify, like the sides of my nose, just like this. And maybe like my smile lines right here on the top of the lips so I don't look like I'm sweating. And everywhere else, you can keep it, look, it's glowy on the outside and then like matte towards the center. Now, if you wanna lock everything in, you can take the famous Until Dawn Waterproof Setting Spray, shake it, spray it, especially around the forehead, and you guys are good to go. How does my makeup look from far away? And then how does it look like up close? This is giving just gorgeous and office ready, work ready, and I am literally obsessed with it because there's no liquid foundation, powder foundation. I feel like this has been such a thing of the past, powder compact, cake pan makeup, but it is not. There's a way to make it work for you. And I hope you guys are inspired to maybe try your glam in a different way, especially if you are plus size, oily, you want to even out your skin tone. If you definitely want to add this to your BB creams or like foundations, this is a great way to turn up the base. Y'all look at me. The skin is skinning. It is giving licensed esthetician. I look like I'm a founder of a beauty brand and look at how the light just hits my skin. This look was so freaking fast to do. I hope you guys are inspired and not intimidated to be glam and have even skin and be gorgeous. If you guys wanna see a tutorial for quick and easy makeup for dry skin, let me know too. I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the brand. You guys can get Turn Up The Base and the rest of the products at Sephora and OneSizeBeauty.com and also on TikTok shop. If you guys have any suggestions on what you guys wanna see, especially if you're a beginner, let me know. I love you guys so much and I thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Do not forget that makeup is a one size fits all. Bye.